is what's up guys and welcome to oh my gosh we just witnessed a murder and a welcome to for honor how to use warmonger if you're like me you were desperately waiting for warmonger to come out because it's been a while since we've had our last character if i remember correctly our last character's name is zanhu Leave me alone, all my friends. The last character was in who, and today we're going to be looking at this beautiful creation of a character. If you don't know, let me enlighten you. When Warmonger was first being made, that is right when the quarantine started for uh, phony COVID-19. Um, <clears throat> so they didn't get the chance to create as much as they wanted to and spend as much time as they wanted to into this character so i hate to say it i mean no disrespect but she is recycled parts so we're gonna go ahead and move into a brief custom match we're gonna go ahead and do a 1v1 and we're gonna set the bot to a level two we don't want too much of a challenge but we also don't want the round to be given to us we're gonna do a best of nine rounds so I have enough time to actually show you what's going on with this character my favorite all-time map and time to play on this game is Ashfield in the ring I don't know why I love it so much but I do don't judge me so we're gonna go ahead and come in here and pick our beautiful beast the minute she came out I started catching my rep and I love the fact that they made her a vanguard. They say that she's easy, but I completely disagree with that. Adaptable and straightforward. To an extent, yes. But she still takes skill to use. Unlike some of our other more recent characters that have come out like... Training wheels, Jormungandr. She is so easy to use, Jormungandr. It's just punch, square, punch, square, back, square, punch, square, heavy, square. <laughs> so, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to run you guys through it. Show you how to use this character if you're having some troubles, which is okay, because it took me about a good day to really, really get in the groove of her. Of course, I get spammy light characters. Right off the bat... Right off the bat with her, you see that she has a dodge unblockable heavy, which is fantastic for exact moments like that. She also, like I said, was made with recycled parts. One of those recycled parts was Warden's Dash. Another great thing that I absolutely love about this character is what they call the wall splat. If I can get a parry off, I will show you all about it. Here we go. So she takes it and then bam. With this wall splat, if you're not close to a wall and she doesn't end up running you into a wall, you're not going to get the bleed damage. But if she ends up pinning her opponent up against the wall, she will then slash across the face, causing a half bar of bleed, which comes in handy so often. Another thing about this character that I love absolutely so much is this. Just like Warden's, just like Warden's uh, shoulder bash, if you just do it light, all you get is a light but if you do it heavy if it'll let me ooh I absolutely hate when people play like that if you do it heavy you get a heavy another thing is her area attack her area attack is absolutely a monstrous attack ooh that was good her area attack is absolutely devastating I just could fight at a bot I just I just said good fight to a bot. Oh, it may be time to go to bed, buddy. 
But, like I said, I absolutely love her area attack because it is fast, it is fierce, and it has reach. Watch this. Now here's the wall splat up against a wall. Bam. A half bar of bleed. Get off me, ho. I don't know what you think this is, but my pimping days are over. So there's that dash in action. Doing fantastic work. I probably shouldn't have done this with a level 2 bot, actually. Let's see if your boy can get a little something-something in before he dies. But yeah, that area attack absolutely comes in clutch so many times. There's been many times with this character just in the past two days that I have caught myself in a bind and needed a quick attack. And needed a quick attack to get myself out of a bind. And as you can see, it does have legitimate... Oh, this is why I hate this bot so much. It's called Pineapple Pizza, pal. Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. That's sacrilege. Get out of here with that bull shnikes you got going on over there. Come here. I love this execution. It's just, she doesn't see you as a warrior or a human. She sees you as meat. So she's going to stick her knife all the way, or stick her sword all the way down your back and drag you like a carcass that she's getting ready to harvest the good shit from. And like I said, with this character... If you do a heavy, you get... If you do it charged, you get a heavy. If you do it light, you get a light. Just like with Warden's Shoulder Bash. Miss me with that bullshit, and you got me with it anyway. Yeah, I ain't one of them plebes that play you on a daily. Or maybe I am, who knows. I don't know what's going on with this bot right now, but she is sweatier than Satan's taint. Get the fuck out of my face, you plebe bitch. What? Did you see that reach? That girl lunged like it was freaking Call of Duty circa 2007. Or, what, I think it was 2011. Circa 2011 Modern Warfare 2 with the knife. That was redonkulous. But that's what I love so much about this character, about Warmonger, is that she is legitimately a challenge. It, it takes some legitimate skill to, to be able to get in with her. I don't understand that. I was totally going for the shield bash, but okay. Or for the guard break, but okay. Wow. This bot plays like a dick. Am I playing against a bot or one of the cancerous creators of this game? I may have to actually get sweaty with this. What the fuck? This bot is putting up a legitimate challenge. But yeah, I, I love this character. She is in every way, shape, or form a all-around great character. But one of the biggest reasons that they put this character out was because they know that there is no honor in for honor and that people will gang all the time they know that people are going to gank that's why this character was made she's an anti-ganking beast That was her intended purpose when she was released. Was to be an anti-ganking monster. They made this bot specifically to kill me. Don't you do it, bitch. Oh, I just got 5-2'd by a bot. 
But that's okay. This character's still new. As you can see, I'm still learning her. And so are you. And that's okay. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the full rundown on my girl, Vormonger, right here. She is a beast, and I gotta be honest with you, I'm thoroughly impressed with the way she was made and the detail that they put into her release, like this opening scene right here, where you're just chilling, you're just like, oh, hey, look, it's Warden, and then all of a sudden, you witness first-degree murder. Get the fuck out of here, please. Lay down. We're trying to look at her. But yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you know when I post next. And so you know when I go live. Make sure you check out all the links in my description. We are the Four Horsemen. You've got war, me, pestilence, death, and famine. We love you. And make sure you check us out on Twitter at the underscore number four underscore horseman underscore 2020. You guys are the best. We love